Okay, I'm having the hardest time. I can't decide if Hannah is sweet or sassy yet. Maybe you can help us decide. Hannah Grace on the Chris Ty program. The Top, broadcasting worldwide on iHeartRadio and Spreaker.com. My name is Dorkimus Prime, leader of the Dorkobots. I was sent to this tiny planet in hopes of uniting all dorks against the evil Decepta douche. Dorkobots, roll out. <laughs> Mr. Pop. <laughs> Portions of today's broadcast are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris I am the one and only Chris <laughs> Broadcasting live from our lavish studio apartment here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you doing, world? How was that? That was, that was good. pure brilliance. That was brilliant. Uh, we sort of started, well, you started a new hobby. I'm, I'm revisiting an old hobby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we um, actually started this last night. I've been meaning to get around to it for a while, but my, my back issues have been giving me problems, so it's been... A little more difficult for me to sit in front of the mic it's for extended periods of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tonight I'm going to die. You're no, going to have to call some not. little Chinese woman to come in and like bounce up and down on my back. You're not going to die. Yeah. Uh, well, I was just a... Uh, anyway. Uh, okay. Now, we... I used to post ringtones on a site called PhoneZoo. Mm-hmm. And that's sort of how I got started. Um, that's how I learned to do production. That's how I learned to do a lot of stuff. And when I came to Spreaker... I used a lot of those those ringtones as part of my production for the show, mm-hmm. and it just sort of fit. And you know, they were thirty seconds, and it just worked in the show. And it was it was cool to be able to do that. But I bought I, I brought a a large fan base from PhoneZoo over to Spreaker. Yeah. So things that you guys hear, things like the uh, att- attention deficit disorder, that was things yep. from PhoneZoo and stuff. Yeah, that was a ringtone that I made. It had uh, a few hundred thousand downloads on it. It was it was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, PhoneZoo recently closed their doors. Uh, well, it's been a few months. Uh, so we went to another site, and I, I had tried this site before and had had some pretty good luck off of it, but I, I just stuck with PhoneZoo. Uh, but we actually went to Zedge last night, mm-hmm. and we, we kind of messed around a little bit, and we actually made some ringtones. So yeah. this should make a lot of you happy because when you found out PhoneZoo closed down, you were like, oh, my God, how can I request more ringtones from Chris? Well... Now you can, mm-hmm. uh, because we are currently using Zedge. It's not the old account I used there, because I couldn't remember how to get back in. Whoopsie! Yeah, so we started a new one, and uh, the new account is called Waba With Me. I should have put Waba With Us, you oh, know? Well. But, I mean, you could say it, then I could say it. Yeah. Separately. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, but we just started last night. We've already been downloaded 1,528 times. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh-huh. That's kind of you want to play a couple? Yeah, let's do. Yeah, it. let's play a couple. This is fun. I don't think Hannah will mind. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's let's play. They've heard homo. No, you're Noma. definitely gonna have to play the one where I did the voice. Yes. Let's play. Let's play your. And we we tried to do some of these that are that are mainstream that a lot of people will download. Mm-hmm. And uh, this was your this was your like first ringtone, right? Uh huh. Okay. 
I mean, you've done production before, so yes. you, you kind of know what you're doing. 102 downloads. So, so you kind of know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. And if you want to get this, just go to Zedge and uh, search Waba with me, and then we should pop up and you should be able to get this. Hey, handsome. You have a text. Isn't that cool? It is. That's cool. I was so excited. I was like, this is so fun. <laughs> Uh, but we also have, uh, if you want to put our logo as your wallpaper on your phone, you can go download that there. And and all this is free, um, for sure. And um, I'm going to play the one I did. Yes. This is, um, I don't even know how to explain this. I, I don't. Just play it. Okay. <laughs> hey, sexy. Ow! You are getting a phone call. I hope whoever's on the end of that other line is half as hot as you are. Sizzle, sizzle. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's just a couple uh, yeah. of examples. But we have, uh, how many was um, it? Play, play the 13? best friend one, please. Which, the one you did? Yes. Um, here it is. Okay. We'll make this one the last one, then we'll call Hannah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is Best Friend. We I think we downloaded 12 or 13 uh, ringtones all together. Mm -hmm. Hey, your best friend's calling. Why don't you pick up the phone? <laughs> and that's actually your voice. We didn't manipulate that or anything. Nope, that's my voice. You just changed your voice and did that. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, stop. <laughs> just, okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. that's good. Uh, so, HTLA, <laughs> HTLA says, bam. Bam! And JP says, yay, more Chris Top. And then uh, Steph says, Chris, you've killed me. <laughs> <laughs> she she must have liked the... Uh, Ooh, chico. wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's almost embarrassing. Uh, okay, so stick around. We got Hannah Grace on the Chris Top program. You will not... You will not be disappointed. This is going to be fun. <laughs> you can either talk in the Chris Top program. Okay, serious question. You ready? Okay. Brace yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are you sitting down? I am. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, if you could have any superhero power, what would that be? <laughs> flying. You would fly? And now, why would you pick flying? Because I love the feeling of flying and the way, um, you know, I did I did do the, uh, what the heck was it? Where you jump off the mountain in a, and you have wings. Paragliding? Yeah, air gliding. That's it. Oh, wow. That's, so you did that? And that's free, yes. And that's a free feeling. So, yes, flying. You d really did that? Yep. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> She's got balls for a chick. She does. She does. Man. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't. I don't think I would be able to do that. I would I would try to make myself do it. Yeah, somebody would have to push me. I might have vomited. <laughs> well, all of our lives, it's like a good book. You turn a few pages, then you open up the next chapter. A success story. Do you have what it takes? Have you already made it? What's your definition of success? The music industry is brutal. Los Angeles, New York City, Nashville, Tennessee. Are you just another face in the crowd? Everybody knows it's not about how much talent you have. It's about who you know and how big your hooters are. I just want to know if the dude's willing to flip burgers for three years while he makes minimum wage. Sometimes that's what it takes to be a star. Why are people going to want to turn on the radio and hear your music? Oh, so you think your song's good. Well, what makes it good? It's going to have to be great if you're going to make it in Nashville. If Chris and I don't agree, they're not on the show. What makes you special? What makes you unique? Let me ask you this. Once your hard work pays off and you reach those dreams, are you willing to give anything back? The Chris Top Program, starting a new chapter. Are people going to want to read your book, or is it going to end up collecting dust in the discount section at Goodwill? We want the best on this show, and that's what you're going to have to give it. Otherwise, it's time to go home. The Chris Top Program, this is where people come when they want to have a voice. No, they are sadly mistaken if they think we just let anybody on this show. Look, all we do is broadcast. You provide the hope. You provide the inspiration. You're the next great songwriter. You're the next great entertainer. This is where your song takes its first step. The Chris Top program working on being awesome worldwide let's just face it we're all a work in progress i want you to know this we do not nor will we ever ever take any of you for granted because there are a million other things you could be doing but guess what? You chose to listen to us, and that makes us feel pretty damn good, mm -hmm. doesn't it? 
Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You get louder every time. I've got to like just turn that down. I think no. when you do it. No. Why um, can't I be loud and proud and be myself? Now, Chris from HTLA Radio said we might as well just do another one of those marathon shows and go 24 hours. We and, can do it. And we asked Hannah. She said she'd be good to go at least 15 of it. So. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So, Hannah, how are you today? I'm fantastic. How's everybody over there? Doing wonderful. I'm doing fabulous. <laughs> Thank good, you. good, good. Now, I was telling Chad that uh, Hannah actually sounds more country than, than you do, is what I said to him. Yeah, I heard y'all trash talking me. Did you really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's some biting words. She was sitting yeah. back in the in the shadows just waiting. I was, I just was. Yeah. biting her time. I'm, I'm made to a little now. more country, but it's okay. <laughs> now, are you are you still are you still girly or do you chew tobacco? <laughs> oh my gosh. Long story short, oh. we've tried it. I've tried it a few times. Oh, <laughs> a few times. That's badass. You know, you know, when people come and they're like, okay. You want to have a dip? I'm like, no, nah, no, nah. okay. And then finally, they're like, you want a dip? I'm like, okay, give me some. So, and they're like, no way, no way. So I put it in. I'm like, whoa, I had no idea that dip does that to you. I had to take that out. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a good life experience, you know. Sure, sure. But you tried and it again, though. You you said you tried it a few times. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> Are, are your dipping days over or are they still the yet The dipping to come? days are over. <laughs> you know, like when you smiled, did you have like dip in between your teeth? Uh, oh, sometimes, I mean. That's not sexy. No, it's no, not. No, not Don't swallow it. Don't swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we had uh, somebody in the chat say hi to you. Yes, Topanga. Hello, Topanga. If you're listening, how are you? Oh, well, that was sweet. Now, Topanga's <laughs> just a little girl, right? Yes, yes. Her mom and dad and um, her, they come to a lot of Chad stuff. I haven't seen them recently, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's, they're always a pleasure. They're really nice people. <laughs> oh, no, we've got something in the chat. 24 hours all about Chris's man crush on Jack Bauer. No! That's not cool. See, people take that too far. Let me get, like, I was on there and then it, like, froze up. i got to get back on here and see what going on you, you, so you don't you've got to be in the know yeah Very definitely <laughs> so now what do you now you do you, are you performing do you like go places and sing or are you just getting started what's going on with you um i've been singing out publicly for about three years now mm -hmm. and we do we go out to little places you know weddings little bar and grills places like that um the Alive After Five series in different cities. And we've been doing that for about three years now. And uh, that's what we're pretty much doing, yeah. You know, it's <laughs> funny. It's funny because I, I listen to you talk. And when I when I talked to you yesterday, I just couldn't believe it because you just sound so sweet and country and innocent. And then I played your song, and it's, <laughs> it's like, it's like you've... You just got this attitude. It's attitude. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering where that came from. It's everybody's I mean, got that deep within well, them. I don't when, know if everybody does. I think exactly. everybody does because it, it depends on like the situation and and you know if something but look, happens. Okay, but look, li listen. Okay, listen to Hannah talk and then listen to the song and it's like this beast just jumps out of her chest. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I've got a sweet little innocent side. If you don't believe me, just ask my husband. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you been married? And you probably just broke a bunch of hearts, by the way, when you said you were married. Um, hold on. This thing just pulled up, and it's it's like being all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know your intro to your website? It's like going oh, off. Oh, that's my right. Camera. Yeah, you have to turn that off when you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no, we're good. We're good. But, yeah, I was saying you... Uh, you know, you broke a lot of hearts because you said you were married. Um, okay. But then I did asked I you. Did break hearts? Gosh, you did. I don't remember breaking hearts. No, you did because <laughs> everybody listening, I'm sure they've seen your picture. They've heard your voice. They've heard you oh. sing. And they were probably hoping you were available. Oh. Well, right. I mean, if the price is right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if the price is right and you got a little dip. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. That's then I might be okay. a little interested. Now, how long have you so, been married? Two years. Two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how does he deal with uh, with your uh, with your th okay for three okay so three years you've been doing this so he met mm -hmm. you when you were already doing it. Well, this is such a funny story. Uh -oh. Okay, are you ready? Okay, is he the one that pushed the dip on you? Uh oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, so he's not a dip pusher. 
Got it. <laughs> no, not a dip pusher. Okay. But the whole thing happened. Okay, I was working for a dentist office at the time. Mm-hmm. My husband. Now, wait time, a minute. How does that work? I mean, you, exactly. you dip and you work at a dentist's office. What did, I mean. <laughs> how does this happen? <sighs> okay, this is how it all unwinded. What, what kind of example are you? <laughs> well, I told you I didn't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, okay, go on. Okay, go on with your story. I'm sorry. Okay, so long story short, this guy that I'm married to now, he makes dentures and partials. Can you believe this stuff? Oh, so you're hooked up. Like when you hit the uh, the golden years, you're going to have a, a nice set of teeth. Exactly. Porcelain chompers, watch out. Oh, that was good thinking. So, <laughs> anyway, I was working at a dentist office at the time. His dad works for him as well. And shout out to Paul Shoemate. What up? What and, up, Paul? Um, <laughs> he, he would come in the office and, you know, try to get me to go out with his son. I was like, no, no, I don't, you know, everything. I had a boyfriend at the time, all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then he's Ooh. like, "Well, we got this band," and I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh, really?" I was like, "I, you know, I kind of like to sing. I never sang for anybody. I did a little karaoke, but I never thought I was any good. You mm-hmm. know, you, mm-hmm. you're your own worst critic." So he's like, "Well, why don't you come down there, you know, and you know, sing a little bit?" And I was like, "Okay, yeah, sure. I like doing that." So I went down there, and um, of course, his son was there, and they. Uh, let me sing a few, and they're like, "Wow, you know, she's she's kind of good." Mm-hmm. And like they were totally against a girl singer because they saw they thought like girls were too much drama. So girls are a lot like, of drama. They are. <laughs> no, not at all. No. no, no. <laughs> so we we end up kind of just you know kept practicing, kept practicing, went kept practicing, went to a few open mic nights and stuff, and had a lot of fun. And we're like, you know, we need to do something. Let's. Let's get some songs together. Let's go out and play something. So as all this was going on, my husband, his name's Matt, he's like, you know, I'm taking this one girl out, but... uh." <laughs> so you were both dating somebody else at the time. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He's like, but I ought to be taking you out. And I was like, no way, stop. <laughs> so long story short, I broke up with my boyfriend. We went out mm-hmm. one night, and that was all she wrote. <laughs> that was it, and that totally changed your life. It really did. You know, we, we've we been um, playing music, mm-hmm. and me and Matt were happily married, and he totally supports everything. And the kicker is, is his dad is the drummer of the band. And his uncle, which is his dad's brother, is one of the guitar players. And then we have two other friends that play in the band as well. But, it, you know, it's just kind of like a family gig. So and... you don't have to worry about leaving the family behind when you go on no! road. And you also don't have to worry about your husband saying, well, I'm dating this other girl, but I ought to be dating you. Right. <laughs> you can keep a good eye on him. Exactly. But he can keep a good eye on you. Well, and this, you know, I've really got to give it to Matt. You know, he's not the jealous type mm-hmm. at all, and he supports me in everything I do. Um, and I would do the same for him, of course. And he had to be a little jealous when he found out that you were going to be on the Chris Top program. He's not. Oh, he was... He's in there in the bedroom crying. Oh, I figured. Oh my. I figured. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. You just sneezed right in the microphone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow, that was just that was I think there's something stuck to the microphone. Can you get a towel? Dip out right now. Get it out. <laughs> I think your dip flew out when you did that. <laughs> there. So, okay, now are you do you okay, I know you can sing. I I've, I've heard your song. Uh, now do you play any instruments? Do you write music yourself? Oh my gosh! Okay, the story about playing the instrument—it it's there's not a story with everything yeah. with you. I know, I know, I know. You should go ahead and write a book. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be good. Maybe we could yeah. all put in the song. The, yeah, the chapter on dipping, the chapter on how I got into the music business, uh, left my boyfriend, got married, and then just and, and now went on a show with somebody who has a co-host that's sneezing in the right. microphone. Oh, and, God bless you. And, <laughs> and Steph said, "Bless you as well." Thank okay, you, so <laughs> story number three. Let's go for it. Okay, so we started the band, blah, blah, blah. You know, I said, yeah, I really like to play the guitar. We started out just putting the guitar around my neck mm-hmm. to see if I could just keep rhythm and sing at the same time. It wasn't plugged in or anything. I was just strumming to see if I could keep rhythm. Mm-hmm. So we did that. I, you know, I kept it pretty well. Um, David, which is Paul's brother, and David plays the guitar in the band, and he has all kind of guitars. And he said... Um, 
you know, I got an extra acoustic. It's got a self tuner in it and everything. I let you borrow it. So he taught me a few chords. I remember the song plain as day. It was, um, oh my God, listen, and I totally just forgot it. <laughs> Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Cheryl Crow. Oh, I love uh, Cheryl Crow. Which uh, which one was it? And um, I put your picture away. Blah blah blah. Oh, okay, that's a good song. With um, Kid Rock. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I did that. It was sounding good, and then I had the guitar for a while, and I was like, "Man, this doesn't sound right." It's like maybe I should tune it. Mm -hmm. Okay, he showed me how to tune it. Turned a little self tuner on. Strummed it. I was like, "Okay, that sounds pretty good." Okay, let's go this way. And then it just kept getting all weird. I was like, "I don't know what I'm doing." I think I screwed them way too much, way too loose. I don't know. So I was like, well, I'll just take it back to David and fix it. I brought the guitar to him. He's like, what in the world? He's like, I've never heard a guitar this out of tune in my <laughs> life. <laughs> what did you do? So needless to say, I put it down after that. Um, but, I, you know, I've tried here recently. But, I, you know, I'm Maybe you could so... pick up a, a tambourine. Oh, gosh. You can ask Paul about that. I'm not even good at that. It's Do you hard. have a tambourine story? Really? Yes! <laughs> so, play the tambourine, and I'm like, he's like, all you gotta do, just hit it when I hit the snare. And I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, cool. So. So it's just not working, huh? No. No. <laughs> I get distracted. Like, I'll start, like, staring at somebody, like, out in the crowd and get distracted. I'm like, oh, crap. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> Where's the snare? Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. You just have to keep practicing. Yeah, and then when I start singing, like, I forget I have it in my hand, and I just That would be my problem. Stop. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I could multitask. No. I, mean, I, I can't even sing, so, I mean, I, I don't even know why. I can sing. I'm singing really bad. Okay, okay, stop, just stop, stop. Hey, deja vu, I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> she probably heard it on the other show. Probably. No. <laughs> now, what about writing? Do you write any, any stuff? Well, the uh, the song that's out, New Breed, mm-hmm. me and um, another member of the band, Richard Porch, he also has a CD out. Um, him and his brother wrote together. Um, it's called Might As Well. But Richard also helped me write the song. David helped with the, um, the guitar riffs and everything, and everybody just really came together mm-hmm. and um, helped with the song. It was great. Okay, no, but I, as I, far as the lyrics, you know, I was just sitting in the bed one night and like I was going over to David's house and we were going to brainstorm about some lyrics and stuff. I was like, I've got to get this done. I'm such a procrastinator. I wait to the last minute. And I think that's really when I work the best and when my brain works the best, really, because, I mean, I just jotted it down. And it just came to me and I was just like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then I was like, OK, Matt, what do you think about this? He's like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. But... um Richard helped me a lot with the second verse and the wording of the chorus and stuff. But, it, I mean, it, I think it came together nicely. I love the lyrics of the song. It's w- all it's well, good. what it's, I love. It's wanted. important that you're proud of it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Now, I'm thinking that New Breed, it sounds to me like a futuristic song about, like, some, some um, like, genetically engineered chihuahua. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, like, a small body but a big bark. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, yes. That's exactly mm-hmm. what. Now, what's it, what's it about? Um, New Breed is about the new age kind of girl, woman, whatever, um, where, you know, she can do it just a, just as good as the guys can, you know, mm-hmm. she can hunt like them, do whatever. She can she do up. She can do She up. don't need a man. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, you know I what? Mean, I, I've got to ask you something real quick yeah. before I forget, because I forgot to ask Chad. <gasps> oh, crud. And you're going to have to pass, because you, you I, I'm guessing you communicate with him every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I need a dorky picture from you and Chad both. Oh, okay. Because I mean, sure. it's it's part. It's just what we do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we what we take the pictures, we put them in the Dork Hall of Fame, and then people go to the web page, they click on it, and then it, it takes them to your Twitter. Oh, sweet! Yeah. I've got some really good pictures. You, when you say good, you mean dorky, right? Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Dork pride, everybody. And you, you got to pass that on to Chad for me too. I definitely will. I definitely will. We got yes. so involved in our manly conversation that I didn't even, I, uh-huh. I forgot. I just we gotta have them. totally forgot. Listen, so don't, don't forget about the new breed. Okay. Oh, I'm not, okay. So now on, on new breed. Yes. Okay. Now it's, it's the song for today's woman. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yes. oh, and good. Chad's listening in the speaker chat. Chad. Now what, what is your obsession with pickled eggs? <laughs> What what 
mine? Yeah. Hannah I loves no pickled obsession. eggs. I don't know what he's talking about. Chad says Hannah loves pickled eggs. <laughs> he maybe he's got a dip in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's been leaky. dipping a little too much. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to play New Breed, Hannah Grace, right here on the Chris Top program. Boys, I got something on my mind. And it ain't what you think. See, the gunshot. See, I'm so intimidated now. <laughs> the gunshot now. at the end was badass. I'm scared of you. Yeah, it's the best part. I'm scared of you. you no, I'm, it's okay. I'm, you I'm shouldn't frightened. be. I'm, I'm not. I'm like, let's take over the world. I'm picturing exactly. like... I'm picturing. The girls are on my side. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm picturing... I'm pic- <laughs> that was so loud. I'm picturing <laughs> like when you come home, your husband's like... <laughs> <laughs> he should be. <laughs> Women of the world unite! Exactly, exactly. This is Sparta! Oh, Chad just texted me his dorky picture. No way. Yeah, he did. So he's on it. Thank you, Chad. He's yeah, on it. I need to get on this. Yeah. Okay, now, well, okay, what's he talking about? He's talking about liver. What the hell is liver mash? Oh. My. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You've never had liver mush? No. Liver, oh, liver yeah, mush. Liver mush. Liver mush. Is that not, mush. Now, you're in North Carolina? You know, exactly, North okay, Carolina. Okay, so it's a North Carolina thing. How come? Well, Chad looks like a Commando Gandalf. No, he looks like uh, a Jace Robertson. Nice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I know but, so we'll, we'll post it on, on the Dork Hall of Fame later <laughs> on the night or tomorrow. Okay, okay so, so liver, liver, liver mush, mush. Mush. Liver mush. You know, okay. I'm, I don't really like to read the ingredients, 
but when you fry it up and yeah. put it on a piece of bread with yeah. a little bit of mayonnaise, yeah. son, it's good. It's good. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. Oh my gosh. You gotta, well, and maybe a little bit of cheese. Put mm-hmm. a little slice of cheese well, on it. Well, cheese makes everything yeah. better. Mm-hmm. Now, are we talking about real cheese or Velveeta? Um, a slice of cheese, yeah. Just Velveeta. American cheese. Right. All right, so you, you maybe you if you don't uh, if, if the singing career just by some chance didn't work out, you could always start a cooking show. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Just because I can fry liver much does not mean I'm a cook. Definitely not. No, no, no. Now, I mean, can you walk into a to a restaurant in your town or a cafe and just say, "Hey, I want some liver mush." Oh yeah, yeah. Mush. Mush. Yeah, mush. liver mush. mush. Mm-hmm. Give me a liver mush biscuit, liver mush sandwich. Just the best. <laughs> they know That's exactly great. what you're talking about. <laughs> That's so funny. With, uh, with, let me get this, a sun drop. What? Okay, like a, like the like the drink? Yes. Okay, drink I know what that drop. is. I've seen those before. No, really? Okay, cool. I have seen those before. There you go. It's hard I, to find. Yeah, I, 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 I prefer Mountain Dew. Mm. I'm more of a Mountain Dew guy. Or yeah. I do like RC Cola. I like RC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are good. Those are yeah, good. Yeah. I don't. I see a lot of people uh, like you know RC and a moon pie, but I'm not really into the moon pies. I don't like moon pies. I thought you loved moon pies. No, I don't. You said moon you pie and moon RC. Pies. Yeah. No, I don't really like moon pies. They they just they're they're dry. I thought you said you liked moon pies. Yeah. And I'm the one that doesn't like moon pies. And chances don't get any more country than that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It's now, awesome. So, so when are you and Chad? I'm, I'm assuming that you guys will eventually go on tour together. Yeah, um, we actually, a while back, we had this um, little kind of showcase um, together. Because we, I mean, I've sang a little bit, set in for his shows, vice versa, you know, and sang just a few, but um, uh, a few well, weeks ago, I guess, we did a show and, you know, I would sing one, he would sing one, we'd sing one together. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm really hoping to do that a lot more in the future because, you know, it gives you a little, you know, Chad's got more the, um, the older kind of country. No, Uh, are you calling, are you calling him old? Uh, no, no, (laughs) but he's more, you know, George Jones and, you know, uh, Johnny Cash and stuff like Mm -hmm. that. And, um, I'm like, Shania Twain, right? And, you know, that's me. I, I grew up listening to Shania Twain, you know, Trisha Yearwood. Those were, you know, those were my songs. I love that stuff. Mm-hmm. Do and you now have a favorite like, song of hers, Shania Twain's? What's that? Um, do you have a favorite Shania Twain song? Oh gosh, there's so many. But me and my sister and my cousin, we kind of have a little joke going on. Uh, and I can't think of the name of the song, but it's like, you're not in it for love. I'm out of here. Wow. Oh, I and remember we that. take mm-hmm. our hand and like where the hat bill would be. And we just kind of like go, wow. Cause that's how she does it in the video. And I don't, don't ask me why we do this, but <laughs> I guess we were always together when that song came on. And every time we left each other, we're like, I'm out of here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're crazy. You know, when you talk, you kind of sound a little bit like, uh, what's her name? Dolly Parton. Oh. I was thinking more Reba. Wow. <laughs> I was thinking more Reba. Oh, no, I was thinking more Dolly Parton. Because Reba's real Dude, country. Somebody told me Reba the other day. I was like, really? No way. Yeah, and... Guess why? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, we've got some uh, stuff in the chat. Uh, Stephanie says she loves the song, and then she said girl power. Hashtag girl power. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. So, and, and she's, um, she, I think Stephanie leans kind of toward the Mountain Dew as well. But she may ne- she may have never had the sun drop. Maybe. I've yeah, never had yeah, it. Yeah, Yeah, so that's a good possibility. Mm-hmm. But I every once in a while, I see them in places around here. Never, mm-hmm. never yeah. had them, never so saw them. I tell you, next, time, next time we see them, we'll get one. I've yeah. heard, okay. I think I've heard now, of them. Now, you're and, really leaving on the edge when you get a cherry lemon sun drop. See, I don't know that I've ever seen one of those. Yeah, that's the bomb. Now, yeah. What? So you have these, like, all over the place? And then you have, well, like, cherry, the liver mush? cherry lemon. No. Okay, liver mush, not everywhere. I think it may be in Tennessee. I don't know. One time we went to Tennessee, and we totally took our own liver mush because we wanted liver mush when we got there, and we knew they wouldn't have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but cherry lemon sun drops are, are more around like Salisbury. You can find them in Gastonia and definitely Lincoln, North Carolina. 
I'd be a little, uh, I don't know. I, if I was eating in a place called Gastonia, I'd be a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, just, no, it's like Gastonia. Just well. throwing that out there. I don't know if I'd have exactly. liver mush in Gastonia. Yeah. Uh, so Chad says Shania's 48 oh, years think. old. He says she's 48 years old. He's not that old. <laughs> no, he is so, a spring chicken. So Shania's got, Shania's still hot. Shania's oh, 48? Yeah. That doesn't seem yeah. possible. I heard she was making a comeback. Yes, yes, yes. And you know who else is making a comeback that I'm super excited about? Who, oh, Garth Brooks. Yes. Ah, see, I knew Woo! it. I'm excited yes. about I heard um, in Alabama, he uh, they had to uh, add more shows because he was selling out so quickly. Wow. And that's that's the power. I mean, I remember back in the day when Garth Brooks, when his concert would go up on Ticketmaster and like in, in five seconds, it'd be sold out. Gosh. Just insane. Insane. Wow. So. So what you need to do is you need to have your people call Garth Brooks's people and see if you can open for him in Alabama. I'm sure I can get through his people and they would totally hook me up. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Just tell him you'll bring the liver mash and the sun drop. Liver mush. 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 <laughs> liver mush. Mush mash. Uh, well, tomato, tomato. I just like to hear her say mush. Mush. Uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, okay. So we've already talked about some of your inspirations. Uh, you've got Shania Twain uh, being one of them. Now, um, Vocally, the just the, her attitude, or did you have like a, a a woman crush on her? Um, you know, I don't really know. I just liked her songs. You know, I liked singing along with them. I knew all the words. My mom would always say, you know, if you knew your schoolwork like you do the words to all these little country songs, you would be very smart. And I was like, <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> but should I say that? Mothers are and so tactful. How. It's so yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mom, thanks for calling me stupid, mom, in a nice way. <laughs> if she hears that, she's gonna be like, Hannah. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so Hannah, five years down the road, where do you see yourself? Oh gosh, hopefully um, playing a little bit more. Hopefully, uh, maybe going to Nashville and playing a little, not living in Nashville because. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. But mm -hmm. if something was to come available and I was able to do that in my life, then yeah, let's go for it. You know, but, I think, I, I bet if the opportunity uh, surrendered itself to you, I bet you'd be all about it. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. Yes. But see, you but, gotta you gotta get out there to the CMA Awards next year and mm -hmm. get a couple of gigs going. That way we can we can meet you in person and, and, and get you on the show live. Well, I mean, we're live right now, but I mean in person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That would be fun. So Chad's going to be there. We already got yeah. it figured out. I'm oh, going to be there. <laughs> so Chad's going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to the boyfriend. Talk to, you know, your daddy in law. Daddy in law. Make it happen. Yeah, I'm sure we can make something happen. But... I mean, the husband and the daddy in law. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh. Don't call him the boyfriend and be like, who? Where? <laughs> Wait, oh, what's his name? What's his name? Let me, let me get my 500. <laughs> Watch out. I'm telling you, watch out. Oh my There's going to be some serious dipping. <laughs> <laughs> this God. is fun. We're going to run out of time. We've, it's, we're already 38 wow. minutes into it. We've only got a few minutes left. Now, mm -hmm. if, if people want to uh, listen to you, stalk you, find out more about you, get your songs, where do they go? Sure, sure. Um, it's Hannah Grace Music, M U Z I K dot com. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, on Twitter, Hannah Grace, uh, Facebook, Hannah Grace as well. We're Twitter buddies, you know. Shut up, yes. We are, we are Twitter buddies for life. Gosh, you know, I'm kind of like Twitter, you know, incapable right now. I'm, I'm trying to work on it. I'm, I'm so bad with technology. Like, this, it's so hard for me. The, the, I'm the like, Skype, what do the, I do? What do I do? The Skype threw you for a loop, didn't it? It did, but you know, it was pretty easy. I was excited and proud of myself all at the same time. Yeah, and now you've got it. it. Exactly. Yeah. And see, this is so much better than a phone conversation, isn't it? It really isn't. is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> uh, now, who, uh, if, you, if you could pick, um, like, out of anybody, like uh, Shania Twain or anybody else, who would you like to open for? Oh, gosh. Like, in today's time? Anybody. You can go back 300 years. I don't care. You know, I'd have to say Jason Aldean. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, being a male and stuff, but I just love, like, if I was a male, I would sing all of his songs all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so because, that's a, I mean, okay. it's just, he's, you know, it's not really, like, hardcore. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the lyrics, everything, just I, mean, I, I just love his songs and the way he delivers it. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Now, give me your definition. And uh, I ask this sometimes to people, but uh, and everybody's a little different, I think. Um, what is your definition of success? How do you know when you've reached that pinnacle, when you've actually made it uh, in your career? Well, right now, it's like, okay, is all this really happening? You know, I mean, am I sitting here on a live interview? <laughs> it's like success. I guess I don't really know when I get there because I just, I feel like it's just something else. I don't, I, I don't want it to be handed to me or anything. I want to work hard sure. for it. Um, but, you know, how do you do that when you work? You work a job, you know, you've got a mm -hmm. house, you've got a husband. I got my little baby boy, my dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, success is when you enjoy what you're doing, I believe, and, you know, being very proud of what, what you do as well. Yeah, you know, at, at the very least, just making time to do what you love. I mean, yeah. you might mm -hmm. have to hold a nine to five job. You may have to change some diapers. You may have to cook dinner sometimes, and, or flip some burgers. Uh, for exactly, wage. exactly. Or live a mush, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. Yeah. But as long as you have those little moments in your life, those little snapshots that you can look back at and say, "Man, I was, I love doing that." Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's mm -hmm. that's important. But you know, with your attitude, your positive attitude, your sassiness that comes across when you sing. Uh, your voice. I mean, I I think you've got a good shot. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, it's I'm, just I'm the excited. truth. It's just the truth. Um, and and we listen to a lot of people yes. every day. And mm -hmm. you know, and and sometimes it's different. I mean, sometimes you might hear somebody that sounds a little better than somebody else. Sometimes you might hear somebody oh, yeah. that's just a different flavor. Or uh, you know, in some cases, their personality may win out over over how they sound. Mm -hmm, uh, exactly. But whatever the case may be, it's just you never know what what's going to hit and what's not going to hit. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> exactly. Not exactly. Like a box of chocolate. <laughs> she was oh a God, natural so at that. She was natural at that. that was she really, really good. was. She was good. Uh, Travis says, "Okay, fried liver mush, 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 mush. fried mush. liver mush, grits, eggs, and bacon. Now that's country." That's that and, is. And uh, JP is reminding us that Shania is Canadian. Yes, she yes, is. Yes, she is. She is. Yeah, so JP JP actually lives in Canada. So. Ah, oh, I'm sure he's proud of her then. Yep, and he's, I guarantee JP will be uh, one of your fans now. So you're going to have to eventually awesome. uh, schedule a show in Canada, just, if nothing else, just for JP. Mm hmm. Hey, we'll get on the tour bus and go down or up, uh, I up, guess you should right. say. <laughs> maybe, they can, Canada. maybe they can fly in some liver mush. For you. Oh, I'm there sure. We'll go. pack it. We'll pack it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that sometime. Uh huh. We're, we're gonna have to do it, and then like I'm gonna bring you some. I don't I'm gonna bring know. you some when we come see you. Will it? Well, I mean, will it still be good? Yeah, we'll put it in a frozen <laughs> pack or something. Okay. We'll pack a little cold or with some bring, sun drop. Bring me, see, okay, last year we were set up at BB King's. It's a it's a it's a restaurant, and they play a lot of blues and stuff there. Yeah. And uh, maybe we can you can bring it in, and maybe they'll let you go back in the kitchen and and, and prepare it. Oh my it. gosh! Yes. Yeah, yes. we can, and, and we can have liver mush live on the air. Yeah. Yeah. For all yeah, I'll have to go back there and cook it because they'll be like, "Do I scramble this? Do we bake it? What do we do with this?" <laughs> <laughs> they won't even know. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I wish we had more time to talk to you. We're already out of time. Oh, so sad. Isn't but we that, had a blast. We great. did have a blast. Yes. We did. Now, it was okay, so you need to work on we need to work on you tweeting more. Yes. Uh because uh after well later on tonight, you may already be sleeping, I don't know. Uh but we'll um we'll text you the iHeart link to the show. Sure. Perfect. And that way you can send it out to people and say, Hey, I'm on iHeartRadio, you know, that kind of thing. Yes. Uh, if it'll you be fun. It. But we now, when you have a new song come out, is this the only one you have out right now, the single? It is. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. So when are you expected to release another one? Well, we talked about it last night uh, mm -hmm. to get together and start writing some more, um, more country stuff. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, the guy that's helping me write, he's a little, he's a little more uh, rocky, mm -hmm. but he's working on some country stuff, um, some fishing songs possibly in the mm -hmm. future. So look forward to that. <laughs> sure, I'm excited about some um, some new stuff. Yes, I'll send you a song. We'll it'll it'll be about liver mush, and we'll, we'll oh my make gosh, sure. we need to yeah liver mush and sun drop. Mm -hmm. So you, you could definitely there's a song in that somewhere. What a better combo. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, you, I think you, you were so much fun. And, uh, we, well, thank you. You guys were too. Now, you keep us informed. Now, you're part of the family now. So whenever anything yeah. exciting happens or you have a new song that comes out, you let us know and we'll at least talk about it. But, and, but we'd be more than happy to get you back on the show. Great. That sounds fantastic. Absolutely. And use that Twitter and we'll, we'll promote you and we'll, we'll help out as much as we can because we, we want to see you um, reach your pinnacle of success. Perfect. I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Uh, well, we love you to death, and thank you so much for being on the show. Now, wait one more time, real quick. Uh, yes. Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, web page, all that stuff. Mm hmm Hannah Grace. Um, and then the website is Hannah Grace Music, M-U-Z-I-K dot com. And you can find, like, um, like Chad is uh, merchandise and um, the digital downloads as well um, of the song. Said. Sweet. Now, now the uh, your song "New Breed" is that for is that for sale? Or are you giving it away? Um, I believe it's ninety nine cent for a download. Okay. So, yes. Allie, real quick, you want to do your thing? Yes. If you love this artist, please support her so she can keep doing what she loves doing and buy the music. Don't steal it off the internet <laughs> like a little troll. Nice. Buy it. And if I catch you stealing it, I will hunt you down. There yeah, this is a new breed. You better watch out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. This is our world now. Perfect, perfect. Uh, but we do appreciate everybody that listens. We don't, nor will we ever take any of you for granted. I promise you that. Until we broadcast again, please remember, life is good, and we're gone. <laughs> It's time.